The Lord said unto Moses, An Egyptian's what you pose is, but just look at all their noses and you'll see that you're a Jew. Unto the Lord then replied Moses, So what do you suppose is going to happen when they know this? Just what am I to do? So he wandered as he pondered. Of the Hebrews he grew fonder. So when he saw one get dishonored, he attacked the perpetrator. The dude was dead, so Moses fled. But in his head what Yahweh said still gave him dread as off he sped, telling Egypt, See you later. So when he finished with his fleeing, he wound up in Median, where he found a priest agreeing to give up his daughter's hand. But the crazy shit he started seeing left him guaranteeing that his purpose would be free in all the Hebrews in the land. See, he was tending Jethro's flocks, when on some holy ground he walks. He finds this burning bush that talks, and it tells him of his fate. He asks God to choose another, since when he speaks he gets all buggered. God says, sure, I guess you stutter, but your brother would be great. So upon this holy edict, they headed back to Egypt, and they needed Gershom's weedic when Moses wrestled God. But the Hebrews didn't dare go, so Moses talked to Pharaoh with his eyes enraged and narrow and both his hands on Aaron's rod. He said, let my people go. But the Pharaoh just said, no. And fearing that might be so, he tossed down the staff that God empowered. It became a snake, but those Egyptians also had magicians. Both of their staffs started hissing, but quickly got devoured. Still, the Pharaoh, unimpressed, left this grievance unredressed, and as you might have guessed, the plagues were here unveiled. The bloody waters soon arise, frogs start falling from the skies, he sends a bunch of gnats and flies, epidemics boils and hail, and still the Hebrews went unpardoned when God's locusts ate their garden. Since the Pharaoh's heart was hardened, Moses needed one last card to play. Now, with the firstborn lying dead, the Pharaoh finally said, Take your unleavened bread and go the fuck away! They rejoiced with sounds like thunder when the pharaoh knuckled under. They grabbed a bunch of plunder and followed smoke that God provided. But soon doubts about the route came out. Unto Moses the devout would shout, I guess your God's no eagle, scout. Just look where we've been guided. You see, Pharaoh sent his men of war in hopes of settling the score. And here the Jews are on the shore, trapped and ripe for slaughter. So Moses, feeling like a schmuck, says, God, I think you got us stuck. It looks like we're completely fucked unless you divide this water. So 40 years of eating manna later, Moses talks to his creator so he could act as God's translator and carve commandments into stone. And on the impatient Jews' behalf, Aaron makes a golden calf, which they pray to, bringing wrath for which little mercy would be shown. Then starting in chapter 24, we mostly just discuss decor, despite there being plenty more important things to tackle. Vital shit just gets ignored as we spend the last 16 chapters bored learning exactly how the Lord wants his tabernacle.